RBI tax cooperative banks. At last, the cooperative banks have been brought under RBI's control. It is a milestone enacted by the Lok Sabha. A bill to this effect was passed by Lok Sabha on September 16th. Now on, all cooperative banks will be governed by RBI norms. An ordinance on this was promulgated in June. It was after the PMC Bank and Sri Guru Raghavendra Bank scams. That apart, over 400 cooperative banks faced liquidation since 2000. But no bank regulated by RBI had been liquidated. This was a clear sign to the fact that regulation by RBI protects banks and depositors. The central government felt that the financial health of cooperative banks were delicate for long. The Banking Regulation Amendment Bill 2020 replaces the ordinance. The new bill is aimed at strengthening cooperative banks, making them more professional. Also, to ensure good governance and sound banking. Cooperative banks include urban cooperative banks and rural cooperative banks. However, the new law will not apply to primary agricultural credit societies. Cooperative society financing the farm sector will also not come under the ambit of the new law. Many opposition MPs had criticized the bill. They said the RBI will override powers of the registrar. One said that the RBI cannot be treated as a one-time solution. RBI itself is a conflicted institution by design, they alleged. BJP MP Tejasi Surya came strong in defense. He said the bill will protect depositors. It will also prevent cooperative banks from falling into fraudulent activities, he asserted. The Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman clarified that the bill is in the interest of the depositors. The RBI will not take over any cooperative banks, nor the powers of the Registrar of Cooperatives will be diluted. The bill is only to regulate activities of cooperative banks. The central government does acknowledge the success of the cooperative movement, but at the same time need to protect the interests of the depositors. And hence the bill, says Nirmala Sridharaman. The new law would enforce banking regulations of the RBI on cooperative banks. But all administrative decisions would rest with the registrar. This would ensure good governance and protect the interests of the depositors. The new bill envisages reconstruction and amalgamation of cooperative banks. There are over 1,500 cooperative banks in the country. The customer strength of these banks is a whopping 8 plus crores. The total deposits with these banks is over 10 lakh crore rupees. Now the country will witness sea changes in the functioning of cooperative banks. No parking of unaccounted money will be easy anymore. Hence there will be more clarity and transparency. Let us hope a more regulated banking will ensure a better economy. Please subscribe the channel. Also click the bell button to get the latest updates.